I, if, if we go back to uh, the 1940s, um, before he had ran his first congressional campaign, and then even, and this continued all through his years as a congressperson and senator, uh, Kennedy was able to go out to Hollywood, out to Los Angeles, Hollywood, and mix with Hollywood stars, and I mean, get to know them. And the reason he was able to do this was his father had actually worked for five years back in, I think it was late 1920s, as a Hollywood uh, producer. He actually did. And, uh, and he actually took over the career of Gloria Swanson, who was the biggest you know, female star uh, of, the, mm -hmm. of the day. And so with, you know, with, that, uh, with those connections and with, uh, of course, the, all the ways wealth works for one, uh, and the fact that Kennedy was an attractive you know, young man, he was able to mix in that world and, um, and he got to know them. And we have testimony from some of his closest friends of that era that in, that in you know, private conversations that he would talk a lot to the friend asking, asking aloud, what is it these stars have? What, what is it that a Jimmy Stewart has? Uh, what is it a Spencer Tracy has? That makes people, uh, you know, identify with them and 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 uh, you know want you know like them, etc. Uh, and so I think the evidence is strong that Kennedy both kind of modeled himself on some of the, his favorite stars, but also had worked at figuring out sort of tricks of 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 performance for the screen, and that he then was able to bring that to television. Outrageous History is produced by Northern Flicker Media.